Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you our newest robot. This is from the Jimmo Robot series. This here is the Inventor Kit. Now this is created by a company called UB Tech, which also brought us the Alpha 1S, as well as the BuzzBot Muttbot Kit that we reviewed previously. Now this is more of the advanced level, which allows you to create different looking robots, including the elephant, which we'll be building today, a giraffe, a rhinoceros, even a humanoid. So I'm really excited to take a look at this. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. Alright, so this here is our inventor kit, and right off the back, I'm going to tell you, it's actually quite large. Literally, if you compare it to the BuzzBot Muttbot kit that we reviewed previously, it's actually significantly taller. Now, on the box itself, it shows the different robots that you can build, which include an elephant, a giraffe, a rhinoceros, a humanoid, a horse, as well as an insect. Now, it does have 16 different servos, which are pretty much their joints, and actually allows a lot of movement, which is really nice to see. Now, on the back here, it shows kind of the setup of itself and how the robot kind of comes together. So it shows that there's parts, there's a main control box, as well as lithium-ion battery, uh, connectors, as well as servos. And now it says that there's an easy to follow 3D instruction kit. So pretty much what it is is there's an app and in the app you can actually rotate around the robot itself and showing you how to connect each part. It's really easy to follow. In addition, you can actually download the app from the App Store as well as Google Play. Uh, like I mentioned, there's 16 different servos and then there's a total of 675 parts, which is actually a lot. Uh, then we have a main control box, a long life lithium ion battery, a chargeable power adapter, as well as a free app and a quick start guide. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up a little bit more and take a look at the inside. Alright, so let's go ahead and flip this open. It should just open up like a book, like the previous one. And right off the back, this is very nicely organized. Now this here shows all the different parts that it comes with, so you know exactly what you have. And then over here has everything explained in specific categories, depending on what they are. So there's parts here, there's the main control box, and then there's the servos. And then you just kind of build it based off that. Alright, so in addition to this here, if you actually open the page right here, it actually does show you different things about the robot itself. It shows you the different Explorer kit, and then it shows you the different robots you can build with this particular kit. Then it kind of shows you exactly how to jumpstart your robot and how to kind of set it up. And then over here just kind of shows you how to program it and then kind of just like a simple step on how to use it. So let's go ahead and turn on the app. Now I have the app loaded here and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of load that up right there. Here you go. So we have the different robots here that you can build. And what we'll be looking at is actually the elephant here because uh, this is what we're going to build today. But in addition you can actually build these as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the elephant and just click on that. And then from there, it will actually create a 3D rendering of the actual robot itself, which allows you to look at it from all different perspectives so you know exactly how to build things. Uh, then if I click on the build button here on the top right, it will actually show me step by step exactly how to create the robot, which is really nice. So, um, uh, for instance, if I was on this step here and I was a little confused, I can actually rotate the camera and kind of get a better view and zoom in and zoom out. So that's really neat and it's like a different kind of uh, idea to just the traditional having a manual in front of you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start this up. So cue that montage and I'll see you in a bit. finally done. It did take about four to five hours, but it was actually a lot of fun. If you take a close look at this, you can actually see there's actually so many details on this and there's a lot of tiny parts. So let's go ahead and fire this up and see if it's working. So I do have the app ready and loaded, so I'm actually going to go ahead and scroll right here. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and turn on our elephant and he should be blinking, which he is. That means he's ready. And then as you can tell, there's different uh, models over here that we already looked at from previously. So we're going to find our elephant and click on select. And then after that, we have to connect to the robot by clicking on the Bluetooth button on the left. Now these actually show all the different servos that are where the robot should be connected to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit connect and it should pick it up. There he is. So it's currently connecting at the current moment and it should be ready and okay, then hit confirm. 
And right away, it actually generates a 3D rendering of the robot's current position, which is really unique. So he's now actually very stiff. So if I push him, he's not going to really move at all before where he was actually more uh, flimsy. Now, if I go in actions here, this allows me to do pre-programmed actions. So let's go ahead and try these out. So the first one I'll do is click on act cute and see what he does. So that's him acting cute. <laughs> uh, that's really nice. <laughs> All right, and now let's go ahead and hit move forward. And then here's stop. So he's stopping his back feet. And then we have a push up, so let's try that. <laughs> that is so cool. And then we have a, at least they doing a little dance. And then there's a twist, so this is more of him, uh, oh there you go, he's just kind of like sliding back and forth. And then we actually have a handstand, so let's see how this works. Uh, oh, look at that. <laughs> now that is really cool. And then he has another one here called Drink, which is pretty much him drinking water. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> so this is Drink. So you can imagine him just drinking some water right now and then I guess he like throwing it in the air. That's so cool. And then this one is called Akshamo. So, <laughs> now the movement on this is very, very smooth. And I have to admit, it's actually quite quick. Usually with these kind of robots, there's actually quite some lag. But with this, it's pretty spot on. As soon as I press a button, he does something. Uh, so another feature we do have in here is that there is a record button. So if I click on the top right button here, it allows me to record him while I see him doing an action, which is nice, where I can share it with my friends. In addition, there is a custom animation button right over here, which allows you to pre-program your own custom animations. For instance, like this one here, he's playing his animation. So that's really cool. Uh, and that just shows you exactly all the servos. Like for instance, if I go into like the first step here, maybe like this one here, it actually goes to that direct pose and it kind of lets me um, kind of alter it. So for instance, if I'm doing this, see, he's actually moving his limb. So I can actually program it the way I want it, which is really nice. Uh, and I can make my uh, movements more smooth uh, or less smooth, etc. But yeah, no, it's pretty neat that you can actually create your own moves and then you can actually save it and program it yourself. Uh, and that kind of gives you an idea with that. Now there's also some other things which we have like for instance coding. Now coding allows you to create your own codes. For instance, let's go ahead and try one out. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead click start to run and then I'm going to click on moves. So I'm going to say first of all I want the uh, elephant to act cute so I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And then I'm going to try another one here and then I'll say uh, do a twist. And then I want to say under controls, so for instance, like you can go ahead and repeat it or you can go ahead and make them wait. So I'm going to say like wait five seconds after the twist and it'll make them do another twist. And then I see your events. So I guess he does have some infrared sensors that you can add as well as like a touch sensor, which is nice. Uh, and then you can play, oh cool, you can play an effect. So let's try that. Um, I think I might have to turn up the volume on my uh, actual thing here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, cool. They have different sounds in here. So let's go ahead and try. I don't know. Let's try the. Is there an elephant in here? Oh, there is an elephant. Let's click on that. And let's see. There's, oh, there's some other ones as well. So you can add your own variables. And let's go ahead and hit run. All right. So right now he's uh, acting cute. And then he's doing the twist, and he's going to wait five seconds after the twist. One, two, three, four, five. And then he's going to do another twist. And then he should play an effect. Yeah, that's pretty interesting that you can actually do all these things, which makes me wonder what else they're going to be making with these as in terms of like add-ons. Of course, there's that infrared and then the different touch sensors. So I can imagine it being a very unique robot. 
Uh, but kind of gives you an idea exactly what you can do, and then you can actually save it and then run it as a script. So let's just go ahead and, uh, oops, I think I might have clicked something there. But yeah, if I go ahead and go into a uh, controller here, now controller, it gives me like a remote control kind of perspective on it. So I can actually just kind of control him here and uh, kind of do my own moves. Uh, but these are all pre-programmed moves. Of course, you can actually create your own button here as well and then uh, add your own uh, possibilities. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea about the elephant. Now note that you can actually make different animals and they all have their own different uh, pre-coded actions. And of course, you can always create your own actions. Uh, but I really like the elephant the way it looks. It kind of, it actually really does look like an elephant and I love the actions. I think they're really cute and they're pretty fun to see and I'm pretty, pretty entertaining to be honest. But um, yeah, I hope this kind of gives you an idea about the inventory kit and what the possibilities are. Now no, you can actually create your own actual robots from this, like it doesn't have to be the exact ones that you see in the pictures. You can actually create your own thing, which is really neat. But uh, yeah, if you had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care guys, bye bye!